Hey, hey. Back again, working on some hooks. Just hanging out here, having a little cocktail. Yeah, so we're here earlier working on this use create hook. So let's get our app fired up again. And we also need our build tool to be fired up again. Okay. All right, so it should be good here. All right. So where we left off was, let's see. String a number of Boolean. Mm. What about just expression here? Expression takes an object. Yeah, okay, this is what we're looking for. So since we can't seem to convert the the like stringified version of the FQL functions let's actually create the object itself because then I think our query is going to work. Let's see if we can prove that out. Okay, so function. Uh, it's actually going to be an object now. And so... HTML input element value returns the value of the data. Oh, yeah, so this is a string. So we're actually going to want to do json.parse to satisfy our TypeScript type. Uh, value, string, number. I oh, say, so here I think we need to json.stringify since we're storing an object. Uh, expected one argument, but got two. Oh, yeah, that's because I screwed that up. Let's see. Also, it didn't spell parse right, you know. Okay, json.parse. Nope. <laughs> wow, I really butchered that. JSON.parse. Uh, so we're going to parse the. Yeah, we need. We're missing uh, friends here. Let's see. So now. Hey, Magnificode. Thanks for the follow. Check out my new alert up there. I'm using Twitch Studio, trying it out today. Um, so here, when we have a function, we're doing body. Yeah. So what we need to do, yeah, this actually needs to become an ace editor. Ace editor. Where's our other one? We'll just copy that. Okay, a editor, JSON. So 
So I think we need to do it as a JavaScript object and then convert it to JSON with the Fauna driver here. Set body. So we have body as an object, yeah, okay. So when it changes, oops, that, yeah, we need a json.parse. Okay, name is body. Ace editor, how does this work again? JSON, data, so it sets data, sets body. Yeah, okay. Let it do its own thing. Then when we submit, we're gonna have a function and so the body needs to be converted here. So we're going to have to do. OK, so we're declaring the module here. And it's because we're importing directly from the source file of the library. Import fauna DB from. Uh, call this to JSON, I think it's called. Uh, to JSON body. So this should convert it to the wire protocol for Fauna. Let's see. So first, yeah, this is this is what the query looks like when it goes out. So it's just a JSON object. So we're essentially doing that same thing. Okay, let's see. I think this might work. So we'll just do that. Um, it's a function actually. We're going to call it page and eight DBs. Oh, that's the J ops. What's going on here? Function. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, page and eight DBs. That'll be the function body, JSON data. We can just do this to try it out, but author, Ryan, role, let's leave that empty for now. All right, so we got an error here. Hmm. Invalid type string, expected type query. Interesting. So, roll. Right, so the roll's not working. So let's comment that out for now. Function page DBs. Author Ryan. Role, we're ignoring. So we still get the error, but this time we only get one error.
expected query for the body. So what we're doing right now is we're turning it into a JSON object. Because it comes in, so it comes in as an object. Maybe this doesn't need to be. Crashed it there. <clears throat> wow. Just sound up. Okay. So that doesn't seem to be a good idea. Uh, I wonder if what I had before. Oh. Hey, Angel, how's it going? Just tugging on my own computer here. Uh, let's see. So previously, yeah, let's go back here. Input. not JSON parse this. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, so now TypeScript's mad because, mm -mm -mm, where is it? Here it is, so this is a string, starts as a string. Uh, let's see. databases. This is what I want to be able to do because it's much easier. Yeah, broke. Um, yeah, create params object. So let's just log out data. Yeah. Looks like now I want to look at the body. This is what I want to look at. Function, paginate, databases. Okay, the body is a string, that's right. Oh, nice, yeah, I have my monitor scaled, so you should be able to see the text hopefully better, but let me blow up the, I'm using the Twitch Studio app for the first time to stream, so just trying it out. It's, it's pretty cool, it sort of works the same way, but. Okay, so I'm still getting error. The name use invalid characters. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, function, name, I don't know, Jin. Page eight databases. Invalid type string roll. I thought we were not sending the roll. Oh yeah, I undid some stuff. So. Nice, some on full display here. Uh, there we go. 
Looks a little bit better, I guess. Okay. So the body's coming in here, and then we're returning this. And the problem is that the body needs to be a query, I think. So maybe if we just do, uh, what is it, dot query. See if this works. So I'm trying to take this string that represents a fauna query and pass it to the query function, which I hope will form the proper object data object for us so that when we send it off on the request, it'll the server will know what to do with it. Let's try this out. So this JSON data here just sets metadata on the document. So we know that this works already, but I'm just testing all this stuff out. And role we're not doing right now because I'm not exactly sure, exactly sure what that is. So there's some things I need clarification on. But if we can get this function working, then we probably have all of the create stuff done that we can do right now. I need to do some research um, on some other functionality, so we could probably move on to another hook. Oh, failed. Invalid type map expected query for the body. Ex invalid type map. I thought I was logging the body here somewhere. Function body. Case console dot log body. And then let's also try logging this and see what the heck happens. Um be hmm it created one that's good hey the query is a string which is probably wrong I think we need to call the to JSON function on this probably so I think our error here is going to be like, hey, this is not the right format. Yeah. Okay. To JSON from, yep, this. Try it now. Paginate databases.
So this doesn't seem to be formatting it properly. Let's see why that is. So again, just do that. And then, so this is what it would look like. Paginate databases. So this two JSON does not seem to be understanding our query. So, so it takes JSON. Converts a JavaScript object in a JSON notation string into an object. To JSON. JSON dot stringify. Oh, let me see. Paginate databases. databases <laughs> it's definitely not converting this the way I want it to Yeah, see, this string here needs to look like the rest of this stuff.
Oh, hold on one second. Banjo needs to leave. <laughs> He always comes in and then wants to go right out. Always. Let's see. Phone a DVD dot. Specs an object. That's the thing, I only have a string. Okay, maybe. So let's try this. It'll be query, query body, but instead what we'll have to do is the body will have to be a object like we had before. It's going to be an object. Object. And instead of this, we're going to use an ace editor. If you see me jamming, it's just because I'm listening to some tunes. Grab this guy. So nothing. Try this. Whoop. Page ain't no. Hey. Expected query. Valid type map. Let's 
Let's see. This probably just is not formed right. And so this is a representation of what happens if we were to do this query here in the shell, we would see a new query, paginate databases, that's exactly what we're recre recreating here. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. Basically, I'm trying to massage the data to look as the server expects. So we're sending out a query or we're creating a qu reference query object um, out of the body. And so we're, we're creating like essentially this representation we've seen here. So we just want to create this JSON and send it out. Oh yeah, I was gonna try to do two JSON. So it got close. It's just not stripping out the special characters. So that's what it looks like when it comes in. 72. That's the body. It's definitely not this.
see here. Hmm. So I'm honestly not really sure how this parsing needs to work, so maybe we should just skip it for now. Since we can't have a couple things we can't do right now, let's just Look at the repo, add some to-dos, and then we can move on to another hook. So a couple of these things don't work. Yeah, so we um just got dark outside. Okay, so we have a couple things that we need to do still. So I'm gonna mark these in the PR. Uh, let's see. The So we need to add the following. So database is all good. So document needs to, we need to do all of these. Delegate, TTL, U2C. For collection, we just need to do the permissions. Index, yep. So for an index, we've done the source. We need to do the terms because the terms and values arrays are constructed in a specific way as other permissions. I'm not too familiar with them, so we'll come back to them. Here we have the function because otherwise the hook works correctly. The only one that doesn't work right now is um, function because we haven't been able to get the body set up. Um, okay, so we update that comment. Then I'm actually going to take this. And create an issue. So 
C notes in um, Okay, so we submit a new issue. In the meantime, we can get rid of this. And now I guess we should probably add some tests. Oh yeah, that's right. I already created the file. I just haven't put anything in it. And let's open our use get test just as a reference here. Um, so we're going to need all these things for sure. Gonna describe use create anonymous function. And then inside we're gonna have a couple it statements. Gonna essentially do this too, except instead of use get, it's gonna be use create. <laughs> Okay, so we have a couple of things we need to test here, I guess. Um, let's look at our hook here. So we can't test um, functions right now because they don't work. So I guess we should test the successful creation of each of these and that they return the proper data type and then that if we give a bat like if the arguments for the hook or not correct, it returns the right error. So it so we're going to do that. database document index
I guess we don't need to test that. That's more of a server functionality. So here we're just doing something we've done in a lot of our tests where you just basically instantiate a client using our use fauna client and then we expect that it is a fauna db client which it will be uh, now we want to copy these assertions but instead of render use get use create Uh, that we're going to need in a second so we can comment it out. Um, use create. Create. So basically here we're rendering our hook using this, um, uh, the React hook testing library. And then we're looking, the result is what gets returned from this render hook. And we're looking at the three array items, which are essentially, if we go to our hook, should be these three things, create data and status. And if we look at our TypeScript, uh, function signature here you see that we return a function a data item and a string so all things seem to be working correctly um, and then now now we do this create function And this is actually perfect because TypeScript helps us again here because we can look at our params and see what we need. In this case, we're creating, looks like we only need a name, so we could just test that out. All right, so everything's passing.
according to the collection from types fauna. Okay, and so this should be a collection, I would think. Type ah yes, that's why I'm not doing it because never mind. Yeah, the create function, schema, and params. Yeah, of course. Collection. In this case, it's going to be database. But up here, I need to change this. Okay, so now same assertions here, creating a database, my database. That was it. Okay, now let's try the same for a document. Bum, 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 bum. Document. My document. And this one takes an extra argument which is the scope. In this case, it's the name of your collection. an index and an index requires a name and that's it okay but no scope Oh, yeah, source is required, of course. And of course, here, that's the name of the collection. Needs to be an array. Hey, what's up, James? Welcome to the stream. Just working on some React hooks. Okay, looks like those tests are passing. Uh, get all it. Okay, so we just we added the tests, but we also added some comments about what we need to do in the future because we don't have a hundred percent clarity on some of the functionality here. Okay, let's. 
Let's see, pull requests. So I think it's time to take the work in progress label off. Ready for review. Only person reviewing it is me. Uh, no, James, not yet. I haven't gotten to that. That's I, I'll get to that at some point. This is I'm at I'm building a hooks library to interact with Fauna databases. Okay, so I have it in the documentation. We have this form that renders so we can test stuff out. Here's the form component, which is way too long. Tests the hook itself some comments about stuff we need to do in the future updated yarn lock okay this looks good to me let's merge this in get check out master get pull origin master Okay, so we could do this next. I would need to send, I would need to set up like linting. Could do a CI pipeline maybe. I could do circle, I could do GitHub Actions. Maybe I'll just do that. I don't know if I feel like getting into that right now. Um, let's see. Got to add a use delete. Add you. Add use update hook. Oh, actually, I need to update our README here. This no longer should exist. So use create document. Uh, use create document. Let's delete this. Let's delete the tests. Um, in our source index, we need to get rid of the Get rid of this. Don't know why it says I can't find that. Okay. No longer in the README. Use create document. Okay. So get add all, get commit, um, chore, remove, use, create document hook. So we no longer need that because our generalized use, create hook handles all that stuff. Get push origin master. OK, 
Okay. Let's see. Let's see, circle CI. Project page, if you're part of an organization, set up project, choose the language. Yeah, so we're going to need to define this because that's just a generic template for that circle file. So we're actually going to need to Okay. Oh. Oh. Don't know what that was. Fat fingers. Config. Yeah, so now we need to set up all this stuff, so. There's also a CLI that I want to double check. Brew list. Well, brew. Uh, 
upgrade circle CI. Just make sure we have a contemporary version here. Might have to take a break in a second because I'm out of liquor. Okay, a lot of red there. That's not great, but. Yeah, and this is what I like about Circle here. Like, I like GitHub Actions, but yeah, um, GitHub Actions are cool. But I like that Circle has this like local environment that you can use to test your pipelines and stuff before you push. Because for GitHub Actions, you just have to constantly push to GitHub, and it's sort of annoying. Okay, still working here. This might actually be a good point for me to grab a drink, so I will be right back. Give me two minutes.
Hey, did I get raided while I was gone? Oh, hey, thanks for the raid, y'all. Sorry about that. Wow, what timing, what timing. Okay, so since we got raided, I guess we better get to it, huh? Okay, let's look at this circle we have right now, workflow. Hey, thanks for the follow. Oh, looks like I need to edit that layout because chat's on top of the alerts. That's not good. All right, so just to confirm this works, local. Try running the build job locally. Yeah, so. Yeah, see, I want something more like this. Circle CI. No latest. Whoa. Lots of people in the chat now. All right, let's see here. I think it's called no tests. Yeah, no tests. Let's see if this works the way I think it does. Circle, uh, circle, CI, local, execute. No tests. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to have Docker running. Fire up Docker. Let's remind me later. We can brew, upgrade, circle, CI. There it is. I knew I brought it up. This is why I wasn't here when y'all raided in. I was going to get a drink. Hmm. That's not good. Okay. Okay, so this should work now. I think that we have Docker running. Can I find that job name build to run? Yeah, okay. That's right. I want to do this. Jobs build. Jobs. Build. And this is where we say Docker. I don't want to do this. Guess I do. Not sure what these orbs are. Jobs build, missing steps. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't even know how to say that, the name of the spam bot right there, but. Uh, let's see. So, Docker registry. Node. Oh, if I could spell. Isn't there an at latest build? Yep, steps. Uh, circle config latest docker.
image circle ci node tag okay but yeah of course when i get uh a raid can i i wonder if i can edit this layout right here let's see oh now it looks like the alerts will sit on top of the chat oh that's cool this twitch studio is pretty good like Still getting used to it, but relatively easy to use. Okay, and the tag, what do we want to do here? I think it's LTS Erbium. So, Sacra Core. Where are the this image is hosted? Not looking for this browser one. Let's do this. I think this should work. 10 to 1022. Okay. First step, I think we're going to have to do a checkout, if I remember correctly. Uh, getting started. I think that's the first step is checkout. Where did I see that? Let's see. Yeah, checkout pull down code. That's the first thing we want to do. Okay, so this is an example for Mac. Hello world, Mac OS, run, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this just runs echo, hello world. So I think we wanna run npm install, I'm sorry. Yeah, npm install. Because we're using yarn, but I think we would have. Don't think yarn comes with npm or with node. So I think we'd have to install yarn to install our dependencies, which is probably. Yeah, let's just do npm install. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Was streaming earlier today with no viewers, so this is a nice change of pace. npm install. And then I think we want to do run npm run tests. So basically, boot up this Docker image, check out the code, install our dependencies, run this test. Let's see. Circle CI. Circle, hold on, it's hard to see on when this is all blown up. Circle CI local execute. Fingers crossed. Thanks for the follow, you have a great day as well. 
appreciate you hanging out in the stream. It's nice when some of the people in chat are not bots. around dinner time where I am, so starting to think about what I want to eat. Okay, run an npm install. We can see, so we can see our steps here. Check out code, npm install. And then after this, it should run as long as it installs all of these successfully, we should see a NPM run test and it should run all of our unit tests. And what we'll do is we'll have to add to this pipeline at some point once I set up a linter and uh, code formatter. I should have done that when I started this, but instead I was just focusing on functionality. But now as I'm building on it, I need it to I need to add some of this for myself for sanity check here. Automate all the things away from myself. Okay, it looks like it was successful. Up, uh, CI update circle config. Aha, now we have a circle CI build running build pipeline running every time we have a new commit on our PR. If y'all are wondering what I'm bobbing to here, drop this in chat. Just in case you're interested. So now we can see this pipeline running in circle and it failed. I know it failed because I just got an email from circle saying it failed. Right? Oh, maybe oh, that was 21 minutes ago. Yeah, Angel, um, the only reason you can't hear it is because I'm listening to music that's not royalty free. So I'm not streaming it to y'all. I'm just listening to it myself. Because sometimes I'm working alone here. Don't have many people to talk to. So I'm just jamming out a little bit. All right, so the install of the node modules went well, and the test pass. Okay, cool. So now when we go back to our PR, yep, all checks have passed. 
cool. So let's merge this in because now this will run on all of our PRs. We can go here to our issues, add unit test to CI pipeline, close by thought there were GitHub like keywords that would auto close. So yeah, close. Oh, it's because I did buy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's because that I got it. The PR needs to close the issue. Closes. Yep. Now the issue. Yep. So this should be closed, but it probably because I did it after the fact, so we'll just close it ourselves. Commit linting. Let's see. Let me open my notes. Where was it? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I don't really feel like setting all this up right now. Uh, such a... You do it once, but then you don't have to do it again. But no thank you. Do that later. Commit linting. We could set up a prettier config. I need to add prettier. Yeah, you need a prettier RC. So I don't have a linter running right now. We will. We'll have to integrate this prettier configuration with that. But right now, I think we just want to do... Okay, yeah, we want to format everything with prettier. So we should actually, since we're running NPM in our 
CI pipeline. I'm going to change a couple things here. So get create branch um, CI add prettier. We're going to remove the yarn dot lock. We're going to run NPM remove RF the node modules. NPM install. Okay. So I'm just reinstalling my node modules because I removed my yarn lock and I want to create a package lock because I want to use the NPM here. I have I was using yarn, but since my CI pipeline, as you saw when I did the circle config, use this NPM, um, I just want to keep it consistent throughout. Yeah, see, I have a new package lock. So let's run npm run start. Okay, cool. All right, okay. Okay, now we need to add prettier. And then we're going to need to create a prettier config file. Touch prettier config. And then a prettier ignore. Yeah, that's a good idea. Copy. Whoop. So prettier ignore. We don't want to. Okay, so we want to ignore the disk folder, the example folder, the node modules. We just care about our source. And then our, our prettier RC, the config, I'm gonna look up like a default. Or so this is a prettier config that I use at work. Add prettier, uh, so this would be CI, add prettier, ignore, and config. Get 
get get branch D. We can remove the circle branch. Clear. Okay, now we can actually format the directory. Let's see how this goes. So MPX right prettier. Get status. So it did not change much, which is good. Okay, let's now go back to our repo. So what we're gonna do here, CI add prettier config, assign it to myself, don't know why. This. Yeah, there's the following. It's a prettier config file. Adds as a prettier ignore file. Uh, programmatically. Formats, repo using prettier CLI. And we're swapping our yarn lock for a NPM package lock. And we don't need this, we don't need that. And that. So this is issue 17, so we can add a keyword here. Closes number 17. So now when we merge this, it should automatically close that issue. Okay. Merge it. And this issue's closed, cool. Works pretty well. Let's check out master, get pull origin master, get branch delete CI clear. Okay. So now we have prettier going here, which will help with our, you know, especially if we have people starting to. Ooh, I already have a prettier RC here. Ah, so I have a duplicative file. So I already did this. I guess I... <laughs> Let's remove this. Get status. Get add. Sure. Remove. Duplicate. Prettier. Config. I must have done this earlier.
Okay, so we now have a prettier ignore and config file. So now people can contribute and their code will be properly formatted. We also added Circle CI pipeline. So we're now running all of our unit tests when we put up a PR and also when we merge one. So it looks like we're currently, if we go to Circle Circle CI. So did it just finish? Finished 29 seconds ago. So this was from the commit we pushed, removing the duplicate prettier config. It ran through the pipeline. It ran all of our unit tests. They all passed. So that's why we have this check here on our master branch in the repo. Oh, hey, we've got more and more people here in the chat. Okay, so that's good. Let me think, what do I want to do next? I don't want to do this right now just because it's always more involved than it should be. Uh, this we need to do some research on. This requires the linting to be set up. So I guess we could start working on another hook. Let's see. Let's go back to our FQL cheat sheet here. Remove a document key index collection database. Does that, when you delete a database, all of its documents, collections, child databases, functions, index, keys, roles, and tokens are deleted. So you need a reference. So you can delete a collection, an index, or documents. The delete function removes a document. This includes user-created documents plus system documents for collections, indexes, databases. Okay. So here we're deleting a specific document from this collection. Yo, what's up, Alex? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. All right, so let's, uh, I guess let's pick it up. Let's pick this up. We'll do the delete hook, I guess. Okay, get, get create branch, get create branch, add, use, Delete. Let's come in here. Use delete dot TSX. Not all of them. I've just been trying to keep a to do list there. Um, just makes it easier for me to keep it in one spot. Yeah, I'm just doing it for myself now so that I, the issues are like not fleshed out at all. Um, but as I build this and hopefully people start using it, maybe this can be a little bit more detailed. I still need to set up a little bit more tooling. I just did a configured circle CI to run our unit tests, but I need to add some linting and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> I'm streaming it so people can see what I'm doing, so they might as well see the things I plan on adding, I guess. All right, so we have use delete, and then we need to add a new file. 
use delete.test.ts. We're going to have to come into our readme. We're going to say uh, backticks use delete here. Use delete document. We'll get rid of this. Delete document. So we're swapping out the use delete document for the generic use delete, use delete from use delete, cool. And then we need to do the same John here where we just export it, cool. I might need to take a second break because Apparently, I really went for this one. I'm drinking this Philadelphia distilling Old Bay vodka that has like Old Bay spice, like Old Bay crab spice. It doesn't necessarily sound that appealing. I can understand that, but boy, does it taste good. Okay, so let's see what we've done so far. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and make life easier for myself. So we added it to the readme, exported it, added the files, and deleted the old one. So this is a chore. And this the reason I label my commits like this is because at work we use committison, and these labels have a meaning. So I'm going to add that to the, the like pipeline, our tooling, CI, CD stuff in the future. Chore, add, use, delete, remove, use, doc, delete, document, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Let's open this. So I'm in the habit of opening draft PRs right away just so I can see the diff of all the work I've done more easily. I could scroll through all the commits in my terminal, but I'm lazy. Okay, I got I guess I got one more song on this. <laughs> Y'all can't hear it, but Create a draft pull request, just so we can see what we've done so far. Okay. Uh, do the test last. Put that on my bumper sticker. Okay, so we're going to need all this stuff eventually. Let's just copy it. Who wants to type? So first here, we're returning an array. Oh, and this takes a client, which is a fauna db.client. 
And so what we're doing here is we actually have a const uh, delete function. We can just call it delete here. Use callback because it's a memoized function that we're going to pass around, not a memoized value. Let's do that. So that's the first item in our array. Our return for this function is a function, an array where the first index is a function. Then we're going to return a string and a string. Or I'm sorry, it's going to be null for right now. And then this is going to be a string and we'll update that later. Null. And this is const status. So we're going to use a local state here with the use state hook. And this is going to be the value we pass back. So essentially we're passing back an array with the function, a data value, which is the return of the call that we eventually make, the query that we eventually make to the fauna DB. And then this is the status, which is just letting us know like what part of the process we're in. So this is going to be fauna status dot not loaded. Okay. And delete cannot be called. Oh yeah, that's right. Totally. So this needs to be delete function because delete is a keyword. And so this really should be delete status, set delete status, client is declared, but its value is never read. Let's just log that out for a second just to appease the TypeScript gods. Um, data item, yeah, comment that out for a second. And we can comment this out for a second as well. Okay, let's go into our example app, open the content page. So we're going to import use delete. We're going to do eventually, essentially the same exact thing here. Okay, so now we're doing the same thing we did with our other hooks. We'll comment these out as well. Use delete. Yeah, client fauna DB. Why is this not happy? Restart. Nope. Expected zero arguments, but got one. Don't know why that would be, because clearly saying I want a client here. Delete status. T 
Type void is not an array type. Hmm. Use delete. Don't understand exactly why this is not happy. TypeScript, why no happy? Type void is not an array type. Not sure what's going on there. Q is to class. Ah, is that what it is? Okay, so now we're gonna need to add a new component like we did for use create because the forms to test all this stuff as a demo get sort of verbose. So we don't wanna keep it all in this file. I made that mistake with the first two hooks. So I'll have to go back and refactor that at some point, but I use delete. Same thing. If we have delete data, then we'll display it. Mm, not formatting on save. Format on save. Yes. Default format. It's going to be prettier. Why is this not formatting? Okay. So now we will create a new form in our example app, use delete form WTSX.
return. Just placeholder for now. Use delete form. We'll import that here. Use delete form. use delete form and we want to do delete function uh, this has props which are the type of use delete let's see yeah use delete form props and that is delete function is a function okay cool so that linter error is gone or that type error is gone use delete form Cool, use to leave form. I'm actually gonna move this to the top since this is gonna be the one we're working with. So it's gonna be annoying to scroll down to the bottom all the time. Why is it not formatting when I save? A formatter must be available. The file must not be saved after delay and the editor must not be shutting down. So we're doing prettier. Oh, here it must be because we're inside. So we have an example app that's essentially different. It's a different app here. So we need to new file prettier RC. need to copy this into this one now hmm. why that's not working I do not know figure that out at another time So use delete form, we need the same thing as the use create form. We need a select. So we need to store our schema value here in a local state, uh, set schema equals use state. We're gonna start with collection just because it's the first one in the list. We need to import use state from React. Uh, and so now the value of our select will be based on the schema and We'll set the schema when we change the value. Okay, it is not formatting here either. Oh, that's because we're in. Hmm, I really don't know what the issue there is. Oh, I do. It's because we're ignoring the example, but we don't want to do that. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now use delete. We're going to need to wrap this in a fragment because it's two adjacent elements. We need a containing element.
Okay, so now we can select the schema and then delete. So delete allows us to document collection index database. So we just need a ref. We need a button. This button should just say delete and then the name of the schema we choose from the drop down. Uh, schema, we don't really need that. We're going to call delete function and the delete function is going to take it looks like just a ref. So we're going to need to create Create ref. Oh, whoops. So this is going to need to be then we need a function. Create ref. Schema is a string. It's gonna return back a fauna db. Fauna, it's going to return a fauna db dot ref. That's it. Query as q. Oh, I don't need to. I need to import import. What schema? So collection database document. Index. So this needs to take a schema. This is a string. Delete 
ref, delete a database. Sort of name, I guess. And then the scope is a optional string. So we're going to have an input here, and this is going to be the name label name. And then we need another one, but this is only schema is document. But instead of name, this is going to be. Ref ID. String value to the same for ref ID. Okay, so value equals. Set up on change handler on change. Set name. Um, 
this is set ref ID. FQL query equals delete delete query if FQL query only if we have that do we want to do FQL query dot then res So that line res and then dot catch yeah, we want to do this. Function create delete query schema string <clears throat> schema switch schema collection database document index we need the name too name is a string and then this needs a string name Turn fauna db dot come on. That's what it is. Okay. So this also needs the client. Client, which is a fauna db dot client. Client dot query. Delete. So we need to get query as q do q dot delete q dot let's see Q dot delete a ref. T 
database name, okay? Okay. Key dot index dot name. However, this needs dot ref. Ref ID. Uh, this should be All right, so it looks like now we should have all of our queries constructed properly. What we want to do is essentially replicate this pattern here. We want to, we don't want to log this out. When we get a response, we want to set the status to loading, set the data to res, and by data I mean set delete data, set, uh, Set, delete, data, set, delete, status, res is a data item, and a data item just means that it's a, one of these items that we've created a type for, so data item is a collection database document function or index, all of which have interfaces here. Data item, but its value is never declared. Yes, because we need to wrap this. So, delete data status is null right now, but it can also be a data item. Oh yeah, this needs to return a promise with a data item in it. Or 
return as null. And let's see if this works. So we have a collection called with params. Let's try that first. Collection with params. We got an error. Who would have thought? First time. No form function found. Okay, so getting closer. Let's see what it looks like when we do it directly from the UI. Delete collection with params. Well, that worked. Collections, these params.
see what the schema name are in here. Just make sure that things are coming in properly. Name and ref ID are undefined. So All right, it looks like that worked. Let's see, we should no longer have a collection named these params. Yep, it's gone. Let's do a database now. Database three. That worked too. Yep, it's gone. And next is, let's do an XEO. Yo. That worked too. Yep. And this select actually doesn't need functions because we can't do that. And a document. We're going to do document collection UI test. Let's do tour. Let's do orders. Ref ID. Looks like it worked. Yep, it's gone now. Hey. Looks like we did almost all of it. So we had to use delete, check it out, a form. See our diff on GitHub. This is not a chore, this is a feature. So we added use delete, added use delete. Get rid of that fauna schema.
Char remove import. I think all we need to do here is we're going to have to add tests, but allows users to delete the following fauna schema objects. So I can do collection database, document, index, but not function. Current API looks something like this, cost, client, log. Status. This is use delete client. And then for documents, need a collection name, and then ref ID. Um, this is a work in progress. Oh, hey, Banjo. My dog just walked in. And we need to say, hey, to do, add tests, add unit tests. Yes, absolutely. And we can probably convert this into a regular PR. Yeah, I don't have any tests to find and use delete, so our build is failing, but we'll define that at another point. I um, think we're at a good breaking point, so I'm going to stop for now. It's been another almost three hours, so I'm going to go get something to eat. Y'all have a good Sunday night. Make sure to have a drink or chill out. Tomorrow's Monday. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Peace, y'all.